Maha the Empire. I'm Hunter. Welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. Hmm. Now, let's solve this mystery. That was wrong. Here we are with Rowena. I think we have to... Yeah, we have to kill everyone. I kind of like the other guy better. You just sit and talk with him. Light weapons are weakest against Empire armor. Just for that, I'm not going to change my weapon. Seriously, I just... I, I, I don't... I don't need that. Just now looking at that. Hmm. Foot pads. The tool of foot pads. What? The tool of foot. I don't, I don't know what that means. It's not that clever. Alright, that did not go very well. Typical... Typical battle for me. Hmm. But Rowena is impressed. She trusts me a little bit more. I won't say a word. Alright, tell me about your food and your family. Tell me about the fact that you were not in the Third Legion. All right, now let's go back here. Talk to the man. This guy will not loan me gold so that I can actually save his life, so... Um, don't know if that tells us something about him, but... <clears throat> Perhaps it does. This would have been a very annoying map on the first game because you would need to use food to backtrack through all of it. Um, so we're going to go here. I may as well buy some food. Okay, then. I may as well not buy some food. Thieves folly. Uh, I don't know. Do I need it or don't I need it? Do I need it or do I need it not? Um.
He has a beautiful wife. When she was in the Seventh Legion. Did did he say that Borden had He just worked for him for a long time. That doesn't really say anything. Um, let's cook more food. Now let's get out of here with our 22 health because I might need this food. Everything is easier with a map that you can trust. Of course, that's the core of the question, isn't it? And here's Merrick the thief. Remember him? No? Uh... So this is the map that we stole from the caravan. I don't really understand why that has to be a card, but all right. Riding caravans. Desert crossing. Whoa! The desert side many forgotten paths, but only the most prepared or most desperate risk trying to find them. What? I'm not doing that. No way. I don't have the health. I, no way. These are the choices that make the hero. Or the villain. All right. Um, there's a battle against corruption. I feel like I didn't put this into my deck. Yeah. Hmm. The green. Oh dear. Right, so the paupers are in a ghetto where they're going to be killed because they are tainted by the corrupted. And the Empire feels that the best way to solve the problem is to kill them all. And it looks like we're just going to be here to kill them. I mean, they are these guys, at least, these are uh, the corrupted. I think this is random. I don't think I put this one in my deck. Why would I? There's nice lights in the background. <laughs> I don't know what's going on back here. No idea. Oh, let's just get rid of this guy. That actually wasn't hard. There were so many guys distracting the enemies that I was able to just pretty much do what I wanted to do. A reward. Some gold. Yeah, I think I could use that. Ten gold for two food. Ooh. I think I could discard this one. A rotten priest and a rotten thief. Expend the effort to save him and watch thousands wail as they lose their hard-earned wealth. Uh, I'm not done yet.
Or this. Maybe that's why I had that uh, messed up sword earlier. It's because the goblins stole my sword. I was just thinking, this sword is terrible. I thought I had better starting equipment. Of course, the goblins steal your sword. Ow! Ah! Stop hitting me like that. Stop hitting me like that! Just stop hitting me altogether. Damn it! Take the battle to them next time. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just terrible. I don't really see a point in recording this again, so... Um... So I'm not gonna. Alright, so I just went through most of this uh, quest, challenge, whatever you call it. And uh, so for some reason, I only have 11 of 19 clues. I skipped most of the cards, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But what can I say? We've done this so many times, and it seems like every other time I go into combat, I die. So I don't know. I am just not, not, uh, not feeling it. Anyway, we're ready to return to the end with the evidence, assuming I don't die in the next battle. <laughs> uh, let's uh, cook some food. I have 87 health because I gave blood for what's-his-name. That's fine. Review the clues. Uh, we can look at them. There's nothing. Borden says his life, wife left him for a traitor. And uh, Grindon says that he used to be a famed actor, but none of that is contradicted by what anyone else says. The only thing that's contradicted is that Rowena says she was in the Seventh Legion, and or she says she's in the Third Legion, and Galfrey says it was the Seventh, which is a really weird and random thing to lie about. But actually, that's all I've got is that she's a liar. This guy actually spoke poorly of Golfrey, but that's all I got on him. And Borden just plain likes the guy, so I only have one confirmed liar. And uh, of course we have stuff like this getting in the way. Uh, Huntley Toothless. I actually get, uh, I have a blessing that gives me food every time there's a dice gambit, so that's actually pretty good for me. There you go. Alright, Huntley has crumpled in defeat. Very good. Uh, let's check out the uh, roadside inn. Let's check out what's going on here. Or it's diadem. Well, I don't have the money to buy it, so. Let's leave. 
Friends in high places will take you far these days. Uh, I'm not going to bother. Oh, I should have paid him. As things so often do, suspicion turns to violence and violence to death. I had hoped you would bring something more to our table than Callus once did. Yeah, well... Callus, where does that name come from? I'm pretty sure he never calls you Callus in Hand of Fate. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we need to wrap this up. So, Father Galfrey is alive for now. All right. And all three of the suspects are in the tavern. Plot twist, it's none of them. I'm just going to start bashing heads. If it's the same person every time, I probably can't get can't be wrong twice, right? The red candle on the fireplace. Um. Offer to stand guard beside him. When the red candle's flame burns out. The false priest. That doesn't really tell me anything. Except perhaps something about religion, but none of these guys have a background in religion. How do I gather information? Hmm. Oh, here's where I can make them drunk. I've never had that opportunity before. Want a guard? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wife left him for a traitor. She was not in the Third Legion. And killed her captain, by the way. What did Golfrey say about that? He didn't... Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Rowena will always tell the truth for money. The assassin will always lie. Does that mean she can't be the... I mean, she is a liar, but that doesn't make her the assassin. Grindon used to be an actor. All right. You! Hmm, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> Can I do something else? Let us review... Who do I get drunk? Borden will spill the truth. And Grindon will make wild accusations. Yeah, let's uh let's drink, Borden. Are these ever going to be swinging the same way? Nicely timed. Hmm. Borden drunkenly said that Rowena was in the Seventh Legion of the Empire, correct, and killed her captain. I, I don't know. 
know. Rowena, you. Drink with her. Give me the truth. Yeah, give me some food too. Hey, that stupid thing got in my way. Don't throw it at the stupid. You, you, you don't throw it at the figure. I don't know if I need Golbjorn, actually. Where'd you throw that? Just threw it over here somewhere. That was lame. It's the bearded man. Rowena said the assassin is Borden. So, supposedly... I do not drink. <laughs> okay. Grindon. What do you have to say? Hmm. <laughs> Grindon drunkenly said not to cuss, trust the color red. That doesn't seem to have any basis in reality. I don't know what to say. We know that, uh, we know that Rowena lied to us, but according to Father Galfrey, if you pay Rowena, she's telling you the truth. Rowena. Rowena will always tell the truth for many. So, I mean... <laughs> what does it matter if the candle burns down? We're right there in the room. We have all the time in the world here. I guess I'm gonna uh, accuse Borden. He's the guy who seems innocent. Because, uh... I don't know. Grindon doesn't really conceal his hatred of Father Galfrey. Rowena, according to Galfrey, Rowena is telling the truth when she accuses Borden because I paid her. And Borden seems to be too clean, too innocent. He seems to be perfect. He seems, he seems to love the the master. So. I have uncovered the assassin. Why wouldn't why wouldn't he deny it? Borden rallies guild minions. Oh, so it's a uh, conspiracy. And I have to fight better than all of them combined. Fortunately, most of them wait wait around for you to take your swing. Nice hat. Well, the main thing is that Rowena told the truth. Hey. See, they're just standing around for the most part. You guys I hate. I hate you! Ow. Alright, there's one of them. So this uh, sword seems to stun enemies very briefly, unless the enemy is a boss. Ow. 
You cannot win, minions. You, you're supposed to be dead. Ah, so fast. Actually does a small amount of damage. Ow. What's the, uh... Ow. What's that symbol in the upper right? The, uh, star and moon thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Finally, he paid me. 14 of 19 clues. Does that mean I don't get a gold? You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me! That is a load of crap. More cards, more choices, more tokens to unlock. You have got to be kidding me. Dude, this, this campaign kicked my ass. Here are the cards that we get for getting through this. I'm pissed. Yeah. Here's some stuff I can start with. Barrowborough. Yeah, I'm angered. I am. Here the hermit hides, and with him the secrets that underpin your history. We will explore them together. So that unlocked a whole bunch of other quests. Next time on Let's Play Hand of Fate 2, uh, I, we're probably going to do the lovers. Probably.